And we begin with breaking news right now at 6 o'clock. Drivers stuck on I-95 in Harnett County after a crash caused a huge fire in the middle of the highway. Sky 5 is over the scene right now. As you're looking live, you can see the cars backed up, and they're backed up for several miles. This bridge won't open again until tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Gerald Owens. I want to show you a video from the scene. You can see the smoke and flames coming from the truck. We have live team coverage tonight. Mark Boyle is watching traffic conditions from the live center. We begin with Eric Miller in the breaking news tracker. Eric, you spoke with the person who recorded that unbelievable video and saw the whole thing happen. What did he say? Well, Lena, the smoke, the flames, you said really unbelievable out here. Even compared them to seeing and hearing an IED go off back when he was deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq. You take a look at some of this video here, you can see just how bad the situation was. This whole thing happening right about five hours ago. Crews here on scene telling us this tractor trailer had just come off the interstate when it burst into flames. They're right underneath I-95, that northbound bridge. The tractor trailer has since been cleared out. Those flames extended but the damage really does remain out here. And if you listen to some of this sound, what that witness had to say, you can kind of understand why. It shocked me too, because I kind of felt the concussion off of it. And I was a good 150, 200 yards away. And the only thing I'm assuming is that it was uh, maybe a gas tank or, you know, the tires got, got hot, but I was, uh, I was really thinking about that firefighter because he was only standing about five feet away from it when it, when it went off. So. Yeah, thankfully, no injuries out here today. The fire crew made it out okay. The driver of this tractor trailer okay tonight as well. But the thing is, it's going to be a long time before these roads reopen. I-95 northbound as well as 421 northbound. Both will be shut until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's 7 a.m. Wednesday. So a major headache for drivers headed through this way. Get over to Mark Boyle with that side of the story. Mark? Eric, the big question here, as you mentioned, is that bridge, that overpass there, 421, structurally compromised? The road has to cool down, essentially, before crews can get out there and take a look. Sky 5 live over the scene right now. This is the area where that crash happened. 95 northbound is closed. We can pull back the shot and give you a better idea and a better look at the traffic backups here on I-95 North. If you're just getting in the car, heading home, listening to us on Mix 101.5 or on WRL News Plus, our photojournalist Chad Flowers, is high above it all in Sky 5 to tell us the ways around this. Chad, we're looking at these aerials right now on the air and the backups go for miles and have been like that for hours this afternoon. That's right, Mark. Uh, and the people listen from 5 o'clock. As you can see, they're exiting off of a northbound I-95 and they're cutting over uh, to Highway 301. I'll pull back to show you how Highway 301 has now experienced a huge backup as well. So if you're coming from the Fayetteville area down Highway 301 towards Dunn and on up to Benson, you're going to be stuck in this traffic as well. I-95 and Highway 301 are now backed up for many, many, many miles. And it's all because of this traffic uh, accident right here uh, that Eric just told you about. The problem with if you're going uh, eastbound on I on uh, Highway 421 out of downtown Dunn, if you're going eastbound, you'll have no problem getting under the bridge and continuing on eastbound. If you're going from eastbound to westbound into Dunn, you're not going to be able to cross back under that road. You're going to need to go up to Jones uh, Jonesboro Road or Long Branch Road to cut back across to get into downtown from the east side of I-95. Mark. All right, Chad, some hangry people not going to get home in time for dinner tonight, I don't think. And as for that detour, the DOT lays it out simply saying drivers of 95 North are being directed to use 421 interchange at exit 73 to return to the interstate. But as Chad just showed us there, the backups are going to be out there for quite some time. We'll monitor this story as it continues to develop here in the WRL Live Center. All right, thanks, Mark. We will certainly stay on it. Eric is going to stay on the scene to find out exactly what happened here. We'll have updates on WRAL.com and in our later newscasts.